What's going on, everybody? It's Michael OG Law Taban. And I'm at my 10 year anniversary having a ball. And for this 10 year anniversary, I've been arguing from state to state on who make the best cheap cheese and who could really get it in with this prison style cooking. So I was a chef in prison from the kitchen. I worked in the regular kitchen until I cooked so good in the regular kitchen. I was taking the beans and, and, and stealing green peppers and onions and nutmeg and brown sugar. I was really hooking it up. I was doing so good they couldn't fire me, but they limited me by putting me in diet prep. That way I could only cook for the guards, the people in the hole, and, but I had access to the stove, the oven, so I was able to make my swag sandwiches, so I took the job instead. So. In the kitchen, I used to chop with a knife. And when you're cutting with a knife in the kitchen for 2,000 men, you can't be one at a time, one at a time. You gotta find ways to really turn that knife into a meat slicer. You understand me? And you gotta get it done in that kitchen. But in the cell, it was different. Sometimes you on lockdown, all you have is a big razor. So you have to use your thin comb to pop the edges. Then you take the razor apart. Now this razor here, this is an amazing tool. This is a, a set of barber clippers. This is a shape up clipper. You can have the longest hair in the world and I could take some water in this razor blade and I can send you the quarter out to your family looking amazing. I could defend myself with this razor. You can have a knife and I can have this razor and I can do very well. You'd be surprised because people don't know that you got the razor in between your fingers. So while you slapping them, to get them up off you if they trying to steal your commissary, every time you touch them, it's a problem. Also, it's my meat cutter in the cell. And as you can see, just like with the knife, you can develop a pretty good motion and you'll learn how to get that one swipe. Uh, 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 uh. Cause see, you making a cheat sheet for two, three, maybe four people. Um, the Puerto Ricans, honestly, man, best I've ever seen done in Puerto Ricans and the Mexicans, man, and they make it for 12 people and it be banging and it be popping. Come on, man, we can't deny that they added the Mexican rice with the cheese, you know, and that, that took the cheat sheet to another whole level. You see us over here with this lemon pepper tuna that come in us. That's why we need that little extra couple of dollars because we only getting paid 19 cents. And these cost about three, four dollars in the jail on the summer package. So when y'all send the money orders, we able to get a little pink salmon. We able to get a little lemon pepper tuna. And the good stuff, we even could get the albacore white. And this became my base when I cooked with the salmon and the albacore white. Even when you add beef or turkey sticks and things of that nature, that tuna, something about it, it, it adds a realistic uh, home taste home food, you know, this is a snack. This is food. So we appreciate when you send the money orders upstate so that we can make our infamous Chi Chi's. I'm gonna create me some 190. If I was in prison, I would take the cord from this device, cut it, split it, take a bowl, pour salt in the water for a conductor of the electricity, and then I would make sure that the pieces don't touch, but I would put the wire in the bowl and that would heat the water. And I would take another bowl or my bag and put it inside the bowl and I would cook my Chi Chi that way. A stinger, which is a wire that you plug into the wall, but we will cut it, split it, put it in the water, put salt in it and the salt would allow the electricity to maneuver to the water to make the water hot and boil. But we're not gonna do that because I'm out here, I have a device that can go to 190 degrees, which is the actual temperature of the water in prison. Listen, listen to this. That 190 is so special that it allows us to cook in the bag, but it don't get too hot to melt the glue so you don't lose your contents on the floor. If it was any hotter, you would lose your contents and things of that nature. So 190 degrees is the proper uh, temperature of water that you need to cook a chi chi with. All right, so the next step into getting ready for your chi chi is you gotta open the bags just a little bit on the end so that when you crunch in the cheese curl, 
which serves two purposes for your chi chi. Number one, it applies a cheesy, strong flavor that carries through even when you're using beef, uh, seasoning, uh, spicy vegetable, which I can't find out here, but I missed that spicy vegetable soup packet was one of the best. That was one of my secret seasonings. They got more brands of soup in prison than they do on the street. But what we're doing now is the other piece is it actually holds the chi chi together. So this is the glue and it is some of the cheesy flavor. And this brand right here, this is the brand. Shout out to hers, everybody up state that make Chi Chi, we love this brand. As you can see, when I was upstate as my beginning of my career as Chef Boy on G. It was a very patient process, man, to make a chi chi. Chi chi is a food that's actually cooked with love. Gotta make sure your hands is clean before you get a chi chi, baby. Out here, you might get yelled at, in jail, you might get stabbed to death. Take two days to go to the infirmary in prison. You gotta sign a sick call, sweat. Unless you bleed and have to death. Well, it's the seasoning. I might have needed to put a little more seasoning. It's good. It's probably. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's taste it. Taste it. Yeah, come on. Taste it. Let me know how you feel, man. I'm okay. Never had chicken like this. Yeah, I like it. But it's good. Good stuff right here. Another one coming. Always. The Chi Chi is gone. This is Chi Chi number four by the way. And the guests are too, you know how it go. Once the food is gone and the drinks, everybody leaves. So, I'm gonna go clean up these dishes, but I wanna let y'all know that we had a great time making Chi Chi's and we're gonna have some more recipes. If you know how to make a Chi Chi, cause you got state Chi Chi's, you got county Chi Chi's, then you got federal Chi Chi's. All these different institutions have different ingredients which allow for different tastes. So if you make a Chi Chi, I want you to inbox us, reach out, because we're getting ready to show the different wave of Chi Chi's across the country. You heard me? So get ready, buckle your seatbelt, boys and girls. And if anybody want to challenge OG Law or anybody to a Chi Chi competition, we're going to have the Chef Boy OG Chi Chi Challenge coming soon to a ghetto near you.